Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing yet another ranking style video and today we are going to be ranking my concealer collection. I think this might be the last ranking video I have because I don't, I haven't done powders but I really don't have a lot of powders so if you guys want to see that I do it but at the same time I just, I don't have a lot of powders. Even though I only have 10 concealers to talk to you guys about today. I feel like this might be one of the smaller well, this is one of the smaller categories. Uh, I think this might be the smallest one. I like to say in all my ranking style videos, Kelsey Brianna J was the first person I saw do a ranking style video. Um, and then there are so many other YouTubers now that are some of my favorites that do ranking style videos. Samantha March, Kelly Gooch has ranked her entire um, collection and any other videos that are ranking style that I love. I'll leave a link for you guys down below so you guys can check those out if you'd like to see or if you'd like to see more videos similar to this. Um, I'm really really hungry right now. It's 11 30 and I haven't eaten yet. So after this video I think I'm gonna go get some noodles. So I'm hungry so we should get into this. First, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so before you go. I post videos every single Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. But without further ado, you guys, let's get into my concealer collection. By the way, 4th of July is, I think, I think it might be my favorite holiday. Um, I really just like summer holidays. So I will uh, probably milk the red, white, and blue maybe all summer long. Plus, I love bandanas. Okay. Are you guys? Um, I actually miscounted. I have 11 concealers. I pretty much, I I like all of the concealers in my collection. So even like the bottom concealers, I still like them and have a purpose for them being in my collection. Uh, won't necessarily repurchase all the concealers in my collection. We'll get into that. But let's jump into it. I'm going to start with my least favorite and work all the way to my most favorite concealer. So up first, my least favorite concealer in my collection is my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And my biggest gripe with this, honestly, is the doe foot applicator. It's really stiff and it's bent to the side. And when I apply it underneath my eyes, the tip drags underneath my eyeball and it kind of hurts. I don't know why I am swatching concealers. There we go. Um, I do like the shade that I have. This won't work for me this summer uh, when I'm super tan, but this is in the shade Fair. This works for me really well when I'm not this tan. It's a really, really nice lightweight hydrating formula. Again, the biggest gripe I have with this is truly just the... Um, the doe foot applicator i think that this claims to be full coverage i wouldn't necessarily say that this is full coverage in my opinion um well actually i mean it's not going to be as full coverage as like the tarte shape tape or the Too faced born this way but for a really lightweight hydrating concealer it is pretty full coverage so if those things sound like things that you like in a concealer then this is one that i would recommend to you just be aware of that applicator Number 10 is going to be my Josie Mayron Vibrancy Concealer, another super hydrating concealer. But with this one, this one almost has to be set because it's so hydrating, it starts to crease right away. And if you don't like anything, if you don't like even, like, it, this is really hydrating is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why. I was struggling there um it's super super hydrating so if that sounds like something that like you're a little iffy on and then i'd probably skip this one this is not one that i would repurchase but i don't i don't even dislike it um it's not one i'm going to declutter it's just a little bit finicky to work with because it's so hydrating so for that reason i wouldn't repurchase this one but i don't hate it Number nine is my Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer. And when I purchased this, I actually thought I was purchasing the Makeup Forever one. Uh, so I was already a little bummed by that. Now I do like the doe foot applicator on this. It's a little bit, it's it's got like a pole in the center. I don't know how to describe things clearly. Um, and it's super bendy and super, it's super nice. Right off the bat, I think that this shade is like a little bit yellow for me again this isn't going to be the best like test of any sort of swatching that i do because i'm so tan right now i don't think it's the best shade match for me this one kind of is self-setting you could get away with this being self-setting this is more of a medium coverage concealer so if you're looking for a full coverage concealer wouldn't recommend this this is super lightweight and hydrating again so i like it for those reasons but 
if I'm being honest, I don't think that this is one I would repurchase either just because it's not my absolute favorite. I, I am really picky about concealers um, and I would prefer to just test others, see what's out there rather than repurchase this one. Number eight is a concealer that I really liked in the beginning. Um, and this might be another one that's kind of a shade match sort of thing for me. I think I just have way too light of a shade even when I'm like fair. This is in the shade 110. This is the Fenty Pro Filter concealer and i really enjoy the formula of this i'd be interested this is one i would actually probably repurchase and i would repurchase a shade that i feel like is more my shade in fact i may end up having to declutter this um but i really like the formula of this super hydrating it's a little bit more on the like I, it's not moussey but it's a little bit more on the moussey side which i actually prefer in a concealer because i find it to be just i like it better underneath my eyes i just typically prefer those formulas so aside from the shade i like everything about this but because the shade match is just way too light for me i can't rank this higher coming in at number seven is my nyx hd studio photogenic studio concealer i really do like this concealer uh, i do like the shade on this one for me when i am fair this is cw01 um this is another super lightweight formula it is full coverage for a lightweight formula i'd say this is like medium buildable coverage uh i like this one in the summertime because it is so lightweight it is so hydrating it's a really nice drugstore affordable option this is definitely one i would consider repurchasing when i finish coming in at number six is a concealer i've gone back and forth on but right now i'm in the phase where like i do think i like it uh it's the tarte shape tape i've said before like i don't think that this is worth the hype that it gets but I kind of understand it. Like I said, I go really back and forth on the Tarte Shape Tape. For me, I just have to be really careful with how much I apply underneath my eyes. I can't do like the full triangles because it's just so full coverage that it looks ridiculous. And for me, I have to also be careful with which foundations I pair this with. I don't like to pull it to pair this with a lighter coverage foundation just because it's so full coverage underneath the eyes now if you like a full coverage concealer you probably will really like this now this one is drier underneath the eyes than the Too faced worn this way so if you're looking for a full coverage concealer with a little bit more hydration i would definitely recommend the Too faced born this way which i'm getting to it's higher up because i prefer you know that moisture i do have a second tarte shape tape in my collection and these aren't any that i'll declutter however i think in the future i would repurchase the Too faced born this way over the tarte shape tape but i don't hate the tarte shape tape i know i've said in the past that i really don't like it and now i'm kind of like changing my mind a little bit okay number five i actually really love this concealer and will definitely repurchase this is the ulta beauty full coverage concealer and what i love about this is again it's hydrating and it has that moussey sort of texture in my opinion like it's a little bit thicker but it just it's so nice and so it just feels good on the skin and i'm very very picky again with my concealers and i don't know the texture of them and things like that i just really enjoy this nine dollars i know that you don't get as much product in this concealer as you do other concealers but for nine bucks i think it's a really really great value their shade range unless they've expanded isn't the best and they may have come out with another concealer that's supposed to be more luminous i could be wrong on that but i feel like that might be the case which in that case i would also be really interested to try but i think this is a really nice concealer and i would definitely recommend this for only being nine dollars i think it is a good option next up is a concealer that i really enjoy but i'm not going to repurchase at least not anytime in the near future this is the wet n wild photo focus concealer and <clears throat> This kind of has like that moussey texture too and i just really 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 like this concealer and i wish that there wasn't i wish wet and wild <clears throat> why why wet and wild why um if you guys don't know what i'm talking about just search wet and wild cruelty free status and i'm not even like a cruelty free youtuber but i just think everything that happened surrounding their cruelty free status was so shady that i don't want to support the brand right now but if you if that doesn't bother you if nothing about wet and wild bothers you this is a really nice concealer and one that i would repurchase if i wasn't upset with wet and wild i don't know if i mentioned this is more of like a medium coverage concealer in my opinion um 
one that I really like to wear on like natural makeup days or like when I'm going in with more of like a natural light coverage foundation. I think that this is really nice to pair with those type of foundations. Probably wouldn't pair this with a super full coverage foundation, but again, I do really like this concealer. Next up is the newer, it's the newest concealer to my collection, but I have really been enjoying it so far. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's a soft matte concealer, but this has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's still hydrating underneath the eyes, and I just really, really appreciate that. I have mine in the shade Creme, which I think is going to be a shade that I can get away with this summer with the tan, which is really amazing. I really do like the texture of this as well. This actually probably would have ranked number two rather than number three if I had had this in my collection and been able to test it a little bit further. But because I've only been testing it for a few weeks, the three is the highest I feel comfortable rating it, but still a really nice concealer, one that I would recommend and one that I will repurchase as of right now. Number two is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, a super full coverage concealer. So if you're looking for a lightweight concealer, definitely not gonna be your jam. But if you're looking for a nice full coverage concealer, we're talking full coverage, but still super, super hydrating underneath the eyes, would definitely recommend. This has a super big doe foot, which is really nice. A super nice, liquidy, comfortable formula so full coverage i have mine in the shade swan it's a little bit yellow in my opinion for me personally or for my preferences but i can still get away with it still really enjoy this such a great concealer it gets all the hype for a reason this is one that i do believe deserves the hype so if you haven't checked this out but been thinking about it it is one that i would recommend all right you guys and number one some of you may be able to guess but it is my laura mercier a flawless fusion ultra longwear concealer now this is more of a medium coverage concealer but for me that's what i'm looking for on a day-to-day -day basis so i really love this i love the doe foot on this it's one of the bendy ones so it's super super easy to apply your concealer um, I have mine in the shade 1 Neutral, which I think is the perfect match for me. Maybe, might be a little bit light for what I'm working with right now, uh, but my normal skin tone when I'm not super, super self tan, it works perfectly for me. It's so hydrating and such a comfortable formula. Like I said multiple times throughout this video, I'm really, really picky about my concealers, but this is the first concealer that I felt like even after continued use and continued use, sometimes I get bored of my concealers too. I still wanna reach for this all the time. I'm kind of mad at myself for waiting so long to pick this up because this had been on my loves list for such a long time and I kept talking myself out of and talking myself out of. Finally picked it up and thank goodness I did. Obviously I will repurchase this. I think it is so good. So if you are looking for that medium coverage, lightweight, hydrating, all those buckets would definitely recommend if you don't want creasing I'm with most concealers like if you don't want creasing you're gonna have to set it um but i feel like this one sets really nicely with powder some concealers i feel like don't set that nicely with powder but this one sets super super beautifully i can't stop raving about this i think it's such a bomb concealer so would definitely recommend but after that that is going to conclude me ranking my entire concealer collection you guys will have to let me know in the comments what is your favorite concealer your least favorite concealer i would love to hear from you guys other than that thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye